folks, a leaker has come back from the dead. I kid you not to come out of the woodworks and provide us something very tantalizing to at least chew on for whatever that might be worth. Also, yeah, the Nintendo Jesus, that's what I'm calling him, has also come out of the woodworks to tease brand new information dropping for a Nintendo Switch game coming out in 2024. I'm excited for that. We have our first ever details in the Zelda movie. I, I kid you not. Literally, we finally have details on the direction the Zelda movie is taking, coming directly from the director himself. And oh man, I'm so excited. I can just hear the music in my head. <sighs> Sorry, I gotta calm down. We're gonna calm down. Because you know what? Before we dive into any of this, including some Pokemon news, whew, if you're not subscribed to the channel, why not subscribe today? I'm hearing from, you know, some rumors out there that if you subscribe, donuts are gonna fall from the sky and smack you in the face, the shoulder, I don't know, open your mouth and try to catch them. Beats me, but they look pretty tantalizing to me. And you know what? Maybe we'll hit 150,000 subscribers sometime in 2024. <laughs> now our first story deals with the Zelda movie. Oh, it's hard for me to even talk about this without being excited. In fact, this little bit of news we're going to talk about tonight on the Nintendo Prime Podcast with special guest Nintendo Talk. Ooh, it's going to be a good one. But let's get into what the news is before we even get to why are we even talking about this damn thing. Well, because the director of the movie, Wes Ball, did an interview with Entertainment Weekly where he stated the following about the Zelda movie. Ball described his vision as this awesome fantasy adventure movie that isn't like Lord of the Rings. It's its own thing. I've always said I would love to see a live action Miyazaki. That wonder and whimsy that he brings to things. I would love to see something like that. It's going to be awesome, Ball promised. My whole life has led up to this moment. I grew up on Zelda and it is the most important property, I think. That's untapped IP, if you will. So we are very much working hard to do something. We're not just trying to do it because we can, we want to make something really special. Now, folks, this already gets me really excited, but let me explain why. If you don't know what a Miyazaki film is, he is the co-founder of Studio Ghibli, co-founder of the company back in 1985. He's actually retired right now. He's 82 years old, but all of Studio Ghibli's best performance stuff, Princess Minoke, Spirited Away, those are like the two most popular ones they've made. Yeah, both of those were not only written and scripted by him, they were also directed by him. He actually directed a film earlier this year, but he is officially retired. So... It's kind of interesting that he's going to take the movie in that direction of Studio Ghibli, at least in terms of the storytelling. That's what I presume. Who knows? Maybe some of the imagery. I don't know how you can translate the animated imagery into live action. Don't ask me. It's not for me to worry about. But the biggest thing I get out of this is with it not being like Lord of the Rings, and it can't exactly be like Studio Ghibli because it's not animated, it lets me know that whatever this movie is, it's going to be a completely unique experience. And let's just say I'm ready to go ahead Hook my, what am I even throwing, a whip? What is this, mate? I don't, sure, we're throwing a whip and hooking on to the back of the Zelda hype train and uh, hoping it doesn't kill us as we wait for this movie to get more information. Next up, we have some big news on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet dropping tomorrow. That's right, the Indigo Disc DLC is getting a brand new trailer tomorrow. This was announced by Pokemon Japan, and it's a worldwide release of a trailer. Yes, it's actually attempting to one-up the Game Awards, for crying out loud. Kind of cool, but hey, we'll get to talk about it. So. I'm excited. You know, the interesting thing about this trailer is we don't know a ton about the Indigo Disc DLC. We have some teases from the past, but we don't know the overarching theme and, and what exactly we're supposed to be doing. So this is going to be really fascinating. It should be really jam-packed. Remember, the Indigo Disc DLC drops on December 14th, later this month. So this is a really big deal. If you want to know when it's going to drop, 8 a.m. Central Time tomorrow is when it's dropping, and it's that same time worldwide, so if you're looking, you know, convert it to all your different time zones. If you want, here's a neat little chart. I don't know, guys. I'm just really, really, really excited about uh, this DLC. Look, I own the game, and if the DLC can sell to me, then I'll, I'll buy it. I, I didn't buy the prior DLC, but maybe this is the one that does it for me. I guess we'll have to find out. All right, folks. 
Remember when I said Nintendo Jesus is back? Look, maybe I'm the only one who calls him this, but Pioro has returned, the undefeated leaker of all things Nintendo over the last year. Man, this guy has leaked things in directs. He's leaked announcements in tweets. This guy is all over the place when it comes to leaks, and he does it in the most fun way where he doesn't even tell you directly what the game is. He just gives you enough hints to figure out what it is on your own. And Earlier in September, he dropped a hint for a DS collection game, and that turned out to be another code recollection or recollection, however you want to pronounce it. The interesting part here is that while that was announced back at the September Direct, he quote tweeted himself and added the following today, trailer plus demo incoming. Of course, this has all led people to speculate like crazy because this could just be a social media announcement by Nintendo any day now. Could be tonight, could be tomorrow, could be the next day, could be just before the end of the week. And look, the game does come out January 19th next year, so it would make sense to get this information out rather quickly as they're leading into marketing for that game. The other side of the coin is people think this might be what Nintendo's about to announce at the Game Awards. Nintendo does announce something at the Game Awards every single year, whether big or small. Now, I could argue this would be their smallest announcement they've ever put at the Game Awards. Like, we could talk about Cranky Kong and Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, but that wasn't Jeff Keighley's Game Awards. The actual Jeff Keighley Game Awards have always had something a bit more substantial. I think the weakest announcement, if you want to call it weak, was Bayonetta Origins, and even that was a brand new game. There was Bravely Default 2, a partner game exclusive to Switch, but again, still a really damn good RPG game, and then obviously we've had things like Joker revealed, like back in 2018, so we've had Smash revealed. So to me, this would probably be the lightest reveal Nintendo's ever done. We're also in the wind down of Switch, so if this is the announcement at the Game Awards, I suppose it could make some sense because Switch is winding down and Nintendo is saving everything for Nintendo Switch 2. Although what's interesting is the Game Awards is teasing a big NVIDIA announcement at the event. NVIDIA technologies, uh, they make GPUs and all of this, so it could be PC related, could be a GPU related. All the other consoles use AMD, even the handheld PC consoles. The only console using NVIDIA is, well, Nintendo Switch. So if you want to be like me and hype irresponsibly, you see this tweet from the Game Awards and you go, Nintendo Switch 2 reveal? Now our last story deals with somebody who I thought I eliminated off of the planet. I Seriously, it's been twice now that I have dropped nuclear bombs in his vicinity. And who are we talking about? Well, Zippo. Remember, I took him out in my backyard and nuked the hell out of him. But you know what? Some people just won't die. And, you know, as his own words say, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead. Well, he's back. And again, this is tinfoil hat time. I'd, I'd put one on, but I, I'm trying not to mess up my hair. I still have a podcast today. Anyways, look, uh, he's announced something interesting happening at Nintendo. And he's also announced an event he's calling Zipsember because, you know... That's what leakers, real leakers do. They create an entire month of announcements that, you know what? I, look, if I was just making crap up too, I guess I could just call this uh, Prime Sember where every single day I'm just going to make up a new game coming to Switch. Why? Because I can. Oh, anyways, let's get into what he said because, you know, it's at least interesting to think about and it actually leads me into something a bit more legit to talk about. So here is what he had to say quite recently about Smash Bros. Hello all, welcome to December, or shall I say, zip -sember. Do you like gifts? You'll be getting some in the form of scoops all month, as long as part of the holiday season. Hey, I never said that he is an English savant, that's for sure. First off, this is actually the first ever Smash Bros scoop I've ever shared on my blog, which is actually hilarious to think about. As you find folks no doubt know, a certain humongous franchise is celebrating its 25th anniversary in about a month and a half. Nintendo are apparently planning, and to quote the sources here, announcements, celebrations, and events to commemorate the anniversary of Smash throughout the year. The one thing that's already been ruled out is a new game. The next Smash Bros. is something that's been planned in some way right now, but that's not going to be for a bit. So what could it be? So then he just speculates on possibly being a concert series or Smash 64 coming to NSO, more DLC for Ultimate, Smash Remasters, blah, 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 freaking blah. Look, it, it, it's a really weird post because it tells us nothing. Yes, Smash Bros. 25th anniversary is coming up and there's supposed to be some stuff. What that stuff is, I don't know. Um, 
I'm gonna say in a year where Nintendo's likely launching Nintendo Switch 2, there probably isn't a ton of stuff happening, but I will note one thing, and he doesn't bring this up. In fact, he outright denies this in some ways, but it does look like Nintendo might be working on the next Smash Bros. game. Bandai Namco seems to be dropping hiring posts where they are hiring for a game that happens to look a lot like a Smash game based on prior hiring posts. And Masahiro Sakurai, the biggest sign yet, he's got his own YouTube channel where he's dropping YouTube videos all the time, except a few months ago, those YouTube releases started to really slow down. He also started to talk about Smash again in some of those videos. It could seem that development of the next Smash game has already begun, and I don't think it's going to release as soon as 2024, but could we see an announcement next year for the 25th anniversary for a brand new Smash game, and it drop on Switch 2 in 2025 or 2026? Now that, I do think, is a distinct reality. Now, I've always been on the, they're going to package everything in Ultimate again and, and resell it to you for 60 bucks or whatever, and they still might do that. But just maybe another Smash game is in the works. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The series does sell a lot, so you know Nintendo would like there to be another one. I don't know, guys. I Like I said, I've already attempted to eliminate Zippo off the face of the planet, and it looks like we're going to hear more from him the rest of the month. So I don't know what else to do. You know what? I, hold on. There's one last thing. There's one last thing. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me channel the force. And that's going to do it for today's Prime News. Now, I do have a little bit of announcement here at the end just to let you guys know. Uh, tomorrow, uh, December 7th, we're going to be doing a 10 to 12 hour. It's scheduled to be a 10 hour, but it depends on how long the Game Awards goes for. Live event. We're going to have giveaways during this event. We're going to have some special guests coming on. We're going to have Jake Randall helping me co-host the actual live reaction to the Game Awards themselves. There's actually a bet that Jake and I have on who's going to win Game of the Year and a punishment associated. We're going to have a Wheel of Death spin coming back. We're going to have lots of conversations. Oh, look, it's going to just be a chill, fun, really, really long live stream. So I hope you're ready to <coughs> buckle up and come join me on this journey of discovering what the heck the Dorito Pope is bringing this time around. I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. Catch you in the next video.